everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. I have something really cool to show you around how you can create some application-like reports inside of Power BI. Now, there's been some recent um, features enabled inside of Power BI. They were on preview for a while. Now they're sort of embedded in the product, and they can really uh, take your development or your models and reports to the next level, in my view, in terms of functionality and in terms of uh, better usage for your consumers. Now, here's one way that I want to dive into. This is actually a bit of a preview around uh, the next Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. So that's in November 2018 at a time of this recording. So this particular resource that I'm going to dive into here has been created for that particular session and you can get hold of the resource and watch all the replays, etc. Um, if you register for the event before it before it happens. So I'll leave a link below to the, um, to the event, but I want to show you what I uh, one of the sessions I'm going to expand um, out on. So this is a bit of a preview. This is a bit of a preview, basically, of, of one of the sessions on on visualization tips and te techniques. Now, what does it actually, what does I, what do I actually mean by application type reports? Okay, well, check this out. What we can do now, uh, we can have a report navigation view, basically, of our of our report. So you look at this. We're, we're looking at this inside. Um, this is basically inside, this is published to web. So look, look at it, it looks like an application, right? If you're just looking at it um, as is. But not only does it look like this, but we can also navigate around really effectively, okay? So say for instance, there's some story that we want to tell, or there's some way that we want the consumer to work through the report, well, we can set it up here. Now I've set it up where I've got these, these icons, uh, which uh, I've um, embedded into my report as images, and I've linked them up via bookmarks. So bookmarks is a key feature. I've linked them up to other pages. So check this out. What I can do is if I want to jump to this page here, I can actually click on this image, and it will take me to the particular report uh, page, and then I can have a play around, and I can actually dive into whatever analysis I want to dive into based on you know what's important to me. I have also set up navigation back. So I'm going to click this little globe icon and you're going to see here uh, what, how I set it up. To move back to the uh, to move back to report navigation page in the, uh, in the report, click the world globe. So you see I've set all these up. I've strategically placed these globes uh, throughout the report so we can click back and forth. A user can click back and forth very seamlessly. And then say for instance, you want to go and look at cohort analysis. Okay, well you click on cohort analysis and then that takes you to the page it's a very compelling consumer experience, don't you think? You know, being able to go back and forth, it's not as clunky as having to click down here, click through all the pages, etc. It's just very seamless and effective. Um, and so during the summer, I'm going to really expand on how you do this. And what's amazing, actually, is it's not too difficult to create a really high-quality application-like report like this, right? So I can click back here. And so I want to go to cross-selling. So this is all of these things I'm clicking into. They're basically just um, sessions that will be during the learning uh, that will, I'll be going over during the learning summit. So certainly um, register for that if you want to come. There's so much great stuff we're going to go go into that you're going to really benefit from. Okay, so I'm going to show, just give you a quick uh, review of how this actually works. Okay, I will be covering this again during the summit, but I want to do a bit of a preview here just to give you. Uh, a, you know, a bit of a, a bit of an idea of how you can do this now, how you can start diving into you, your own reports and start working away on this. Okay, so I'm going to navigate back to here. So I've cr created this navigation page. First of all, you'll see that it's a different size, right? It's a different size, but that's okay. I think that this looks, I think this looks better, right? Than if we were to do like a whole page like like this. I thought that from an application perspective, that having it a little bit different. Um, and sized up a little bit, uh, a little bit different was was a better way to go. Now, to actually create a bookmark and then link it back, what you need to do is go and select onto whatever setup you want on your page, okay? And that can also mean whatever filters that you want. So you can bookmark anything. It doesn't have to be the actual total page. It can be any subset or any sliced part of that page. Then you want to actually turn on bookmarks at the top here. And you'll see I've already got these all set up. But basically, when you have your setting, or whatever filters you want, or whatever look that you want on your page, you then go add, you go and create a bookmark of that particular look, okay? 
and you see I've already done a lot of these so I've done um, performance insights so you know you see how it changed the filtering because I had that's what I had set up when I created the bookmark and I can click through here I can actually click through these bookmarks here but what we what we want to do is we want to integrate these bookmarks onto images so that we can then click these images and click into and see what a particular bookmark uh, represents okay now to do that uh, from once we have this setup is not again not too difficult so we click on an image click on an image and then we navigate towards action here action okay and we turn it on it will be off initially for the image then we want to go type bookmark then we want to select the appropriate bookmark that we already have set up so this is obviously my scenario events this is my cross selling this is my pattern recognition this is my demo workings right so you'll see as i click through here these are all changing because i've already got these preset up but that's basically it that is basically the core technique required to actually doing this and then once you do that i also i also did the same for these ones here so i went through and i changed all of the um bookmarks to the home page basically the navigation page and you'll see that all of these on here they appear in the particular report so if the user comes and they do a bit of an overview of this navigation page they can see down here to move back um, to the navigation page click the word globe so they just have to do a bit of reading to understand that but then once they do that they then have that fully functioning application you know it's basically a web-based reporting application basically great way to tell stories uh, and then you can you, know, you can click through very easily and seamlessly to whatever page you want it's, I love it. I really do. This is this is sort of brand new to what I'm doing in my own work, um, but highly recommend exploring it further. The other cool thing, and this is it's all about storytelling. That's what Bookmarks has enabled. It's really enabled amazing storytelling with Power BI. Is you don't actually have to jump between different pages. You can jump between different filters on a page. So and the, and you don't even have to be on a different page. You can be on the same page. So you could have these images on the same page as say here and determine what filters or what bookmarks get placed on your reports um you know based on a selection, right? Um and so there's so many ways. That's why I love it. There's so many ways that you can utilize this great idea, this great feature um inside of power bi now especially for storytelling storytelling always sort of comes to my mind when i when i think about this stuff um, not only great setup from a application and consumption perspective but also a great way to tell a story ar around your data by utilizing these um these ideas and these concepts okay i'm going to round off there this is a bit of just a bit of a preview hopefully you saw some of the other things that you're going to um, you can learn during the learning summit. This is going to be one of the. Uh, this is going to be the best learning summit by far. Got a, you know, close to two thousand people coming to this event, um, this virtual event, and it's entirely free. So check out the description below for registration, and look forward to uh, seeing you there. Okay, all the best.